Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's crash course, we're gonna be going over our brand new light kit for the Yamaha Drive 2, our LGT-401L. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at what comes in the kit, and then we'll hook it up and show you how it works. Now, when you open up your kit, you're gonna find your LGT-393 Plus harness. This is a proprietary harness for this kit. You're also going to have a pair of headlights and a pair of taillights. You're gonna have all of your necessary templates and instructions, as well as your necessary hardware. Now we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at our harness. After we do that, we'll go ahead and hook it up and show you how it works. So the harness for this kit is a LGT393 with a few added connectors, so let's run through those. We have our driver side headlight connectors. We have our normal headlight connector, our high-low, our turn signal, but we also have our RGB connector, and we'll get into that a little more later. We have the same thing for our passenger side. Running down the harness a little more, we have our 12 volt auxiliary connection and our push-pull switch. After that, we have our connector for our Bluetooth controller or our toggle switch, and we'll also get into that a little bit later as well. Coming down the harness a little bit more, we have our connectors for our accent lights. And again, we'll get into this a little bit later, but we have our white, our green, our red and our blue connectors for our accent lights. And then the rest of the harness is basically just the same as the LGT393. We have our horn connector here. We have our turn signal connector. We have our positive and negative battery connections. And then at the rear of the harness, we have our 12 volt auxiliary connections and our driver and passenger taillight connections. So now I'm going to hook the harness up to a 12 volt battery off camera and then I'll show you how the accent lighting kit works. All right, so now we have our headlights on the table here. I just wanted to take a second to show you the different connectors. So like our normal headlights, we do have our three pin connector and this will activate your turn signal and we have our high low beam connectors as well. We also have this added connector that is for the accent light. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up for you. Accent lights. And then we have normal connector. I'm just gonna hook the high low beam up even though we don't have a turn signal to activate that, I'm just gonna go ahead and hook that up anyway. Do the same thing for the driver side headlight. And now I'm gonna use my push-pull switch just to verify that everything works. And it does. So as you notice, when I lit up the lights, the accent light came on blue. That's because my little jumper here is connected to the blue wire. Now, I'm gonna turn the lights back on and I'm gonna go through and show you the different colors. The halo is lit up blue. That's because our jumper harness here is connected to the blue wire. So if I disconnect this, the halo will turn off. And then if I connect that jumper to a different color, say the red, it'll light up red, the green, it'll light up green, and the white, obviously, will light up white. Now, this also has a built-in dual jumper, so I can connect two colors at one time. So say I wanted purple, I could connect it to the blue, and then I could connect it to the red as well, and that will give me purple. And you can do that with the various different colors here. And this is how you would hardwire a color in. So if you knew you wanted blue, you could go ahead and just hardwire blue in. You wouldn't have to worry about anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off. And I'm gonna show you how we would connect the toggle switch if we wanted to add one of those. So the LGT-331 is our toggle switch for this. And as you noticed before, when we were running through our harness, there was this connector on the harness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our toggle switch in the middle of this. So we're gonna unplug this. Press that down, push it down a little bit, and pull it out. Those are a tight seal. They are waterproof. So we're gonna go ahead and add the LGT-331 right in the middle of that. So with this toggle switch installed, this will allow us to have independent control of our accent lights. So I can turn our accent light on and off completely independently of what the rest of the light kit does. So if I were to turn the actual headlights on, the halos themselves do not come on. 
and then I can flip the switch and they'll come on and vice versa. So if I can turn the headlights off, the halos will still stay on and I'll flip the switch and turn them off and on independently. Now say for instance you wanted to have a custom color on the accent lights for your headlights. That's where the LGT-332 would come in. For this kit, that is our Bluetooth controller. It looks just like this. And that is going to connect right where your jumper harness connects. So we're going to disconnect this and plug the Bluetooth controller in. Now this will allow us to use the app Magic Lumen in order to make the custom color on our halos. Let me show you how that works. So what you want to do, you want to grab your phone, and you're going to connect to the Bluetooth device just like you would any other Bluetooth device. All right, and now I'm connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Magic Lumen app. And I'm gonna turn on my halos here. Now they do take a little bit of time to turn on when you have the Bluetooth controller hooked up. That's just cause it's processing the information. Now in this app, I'm gonna be able to shift the color wheel around and change to whatever color I want here. Now, this is a pretty basic color wheel when you open it up. There's also a little bit more of an advanced color wheel up in the corner. You'll see that there's another color wheel up top and you can pick from any color in the color spectrum. And then once you've got your color, you can go ahead and control your brightness a little bit too. And dim those if you want them a little bit more dim. You can also control your white balance. I'm okay with the white balance on this, but I'll show you how it works a little bit. I'll show you some white balance. Let me go back to my color here. Alrighty. Now there's also some patterns in here. So we're gonna go right over here to the pattern icon. So we have a pulsating seven colors pattern here. You can control the speed of that. We have a pulsating red green, blue, yellow, cayenne, purple, white. And then we have a pulsating pattern, so it'll pulsate back and forth between red and green. Red, blue, green, blue, and then we have some strobes here. So we have a seven color strobe flash, red strobe, green strobe, blue strobe, yellow strobe, and so on and so forth. Here, this app is pretty flexible. Like I said, you can have all kinds of different music. You can play music through, you can set moods, you have your patterns, you can set schedules. This app really is pretty flexible. Once you've dialed in the patterns and the colors you want, you can go ahead and match that to your cart and you're ready to go. Now let's take a look at the accent lights for the kit. That'll complete today's edition of Crash Course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.